Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today it is the unboxing of the Potomac Bead Box Best Bead Box XL. I think that's right. Basically it is a bead subscription box from America. I get it shipped over here to the UK and I love it. They have two different types of subscriptions. They have this one and then they have the um, Best Bead Box, which is less products than this. Um, you get free patterns included as well. I absolutely love it. So yeah, let's get straight in and let me show you what we have. I haven't looked, I've just got it now. It comes in a box like this. On the other side, it has my address on, so I won't let you see that, but literally, it just comes in this cardboard outer box, then inside you have your box. These are great, you can use them for storage. They are a magnetic closure. There we go. And every month there is a theme and you get lots and lots of beads included. And I really like it because they have lots of different types of beads and different styles and shapes and more unusual beads than what you would normally get. So inside, let's have a look. Oh, so this is the theme. It is Bead My Valentine. And it says here, so blushing pink and royal gold makes your heart grow bold. Luscious pearls and soft satin beads put your creative mind at ease. This box will fill your spirit with love as loads of inspiration comes from above. Be mine this Valentine. <laughs> so, and then on the other side, it has a list of everything that is included in the box. The items which have um, asterisks are used for the patterns which are also included. So, um, yeah, here we go. So the patterns this month are a love triangle pendant. So here we go, it lets you know what you need. Um, and the design on this is Ali. And a quick look at the patterns, they are so clear. They are really good patterns. They're so easy to follow. Um, the next pattern that we have is the Savannah Sunset Earrings. They look quite pretty and again it lets you know what you need this was designed by ali there she is looking very smiley and again this one looks quite a nice simple pattern yeah so that's it there it's really good and then finally you get three patterns in this box i love making bracelets it is the brick road bracelet and this time the designer is anna taylor and again there's a list of the um, seeds that you need, the seeds, the beads <laughs> that you need to make this bracelet. And um, there's the pattern inside. So that's fantastic. So three really nice projects there. And then here's a first glimpse at all the goodies. So I think what I'll do, I'll just pop the box to the side. I'll just pop it here. And then we'll just start picking out and having a look at what we have. Okay, so the first item are these Halo Bead Two Hole Antique Copper. Let's have a little look at these. So there they are, so they're very pretty. You can see there the detail on them. Whoops, they're alive. And yeah, they just got a hole on each side. So two there and two there. Next thing we've got are these Round Trio Aztec beads and these are six millimetres. Um, so does that mean they've got three holes in? I know that's stating the obvious. Let's have a little look. Oh, so there we go. They're really pretty. So how weird, they've got three holes on each side. Wow, I don't think I've had anything like those before. So those are definitely new in my collection. Next is a good old staple, the Mayuki seed beads. These are really, really pretty. Pretty sure I've got some of these already. And these are in 15 O's, but they're just so pretty and they just go well with so many designs. We have got a metal heart bead. This looks pretty. It 
does feel quite light but there's just a hole through the middle and through the end it is just a little heartbeat <laughs> it is exactly what it says that'd be nice i reckon you could probably put a little bit of um cord through that you know like on your like your shambhala type bracelets just a bit of um macrame that could be quite nice oh what are these oh heck these are huge so these are check table cut bicons i've never seen bicons that big and they're 13 millimeters by 11. wow they're huge look at these <gasps> look at those how pretty so they are like you're very sort of like lovely pink but with a gold sort of etching on them how gorgeous are they they're very pretty let me put them back down there for you to see they're beautiful they catch the light really nicely Ooh, i wonder if they'd be nice as earrings or even like on your, a feature on your bracelet in the center of your bracelet but they're very very pretty as i say i haven't had anything like those before either next are some dome beads these are 10 millimeters by six millimeters so they're a bit like half a circle exactly how they sound they are a dome get six of these and like a beautiful sort of coppery shade single hole look at them oh they're good enough to eat aren't they delicious looking they are really pretty all right, so we've got some check drops and these are four millimeters by six millimeters and you get 25. Let's have a little look. We'll pop a couple down here first. They're really pretty and they're all just slightly different. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? See, they're so simple. Um, just looking for the hole on them. So we've got a little hole there. They're beautiful. I absolutely love those. That little dragon's teeth. <laughs> They're really, really pretty. Two pewter key charms. I want to tell you how you can see there what they're like. But aren't they pretty? Really detailed. And the same front and back. Right then, so we've got some tri beads. Ooh, 4.5 millimeters. I don't think I have any of these. I just realized now how dull my bead collection is before I started this subscription box. And I do keep thinking, oh, I, I'm going to cancel, I'm going to cancel, but I just can't because look at the beads you get. They're just beautiful. Look at those. Oh, I've got a few days off coming up. I really need to be making something. They are so pretty. Let me just look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? They're just stunning. They're so delicate as well, and a really unusual design. Well, they're unusual to me. Maybe they're normal to everybody else, but for me, this is really exciting, getting lots of different sorts of beads. Um, I do have a link down below if you're not subscribed, if you want to, to use that link. I think I might get some credits or something. Um, now, next, we've got these check hearts six millimeters these are cute very valentine's they aren't they the perfect beads for february very cute oh they look like sweeties let me have a look at them here look aren't they pretty little tiny hearts they are so nice the hole is um from the center of the heart Ooh, where are you there we go through to the top so that's how you string them from top to bottom now then we have some what is these white red luster what does this stand for spk btn oh i wonder i'm going to try and guess 
as I said. Oh, spiky buttons. There we are. Spiky buttons in white, red luster. You get 30 of these. And these are for one of the patterns as well. So, again, something different for me. Something I haven't had before. You can see there just how beautiful the colours are. The finishes are stunning. They are so beautiful. Very pretty. How many times do I say pretty in this video? A lot. Ooh, a bit more sparkle. Here we go. I love this sort of bead. A check faceted round bead. These are six millimetres. Um, let's see if I can find them on here. So you get 20 of these. Look, I always love these. This is just like, I think if you're a little girl, you just adore these. If you're a big girl, you would. I love, this is my type of bead. I just love blingy, sparkly beads. I think this is such a pretty colour, sort of pe um, peachy. They're absolutely beautiful. Oops, knocking the camera. I'm so excited. Next, we have a little tassels. So two red tassels. That's up to you what you want to use those for on Valentine's Day. We shall leave it at that. <laughs> um, now, these are huge. So we have some pearl cabochons. These are ginormous, 18 millimetres. We have two of them. Oh, so they look like minstrels, but white versions of them. How beautiful are they? They are about the same size as minstrel sweets. If you live in the UK, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. But look, wow, aren't they pretty? Absolutely stunning. There we go. Now we always tend to get a little fastener of some descriptions. This is a pewter heart toggle. Absolutely beautiful. I love that, just that little wonky heart. Oh, look, and the toggle bit is an arrow. So the arrow goes through the heart. That is absolutely adorable. I really like that. And you can see there, it's actually um, sort of beveled through the heart. It's really nice. That's where it'll sit. That's gorgeous. Right, we have some um, Delicas, Mayuka Delicas, 11 O's. Really sort of pretty. I think it's sort of like a lilac -y shade. But these are so uniform they're absolutely fabulous they're really brilliant i'm happy to have them Ooh, look at these some round duos white lava red very very nice five millimeters and they're not a, a true red a bit more of like a brick red they're lovely See, they're like an orangey red. They're gorgeous. Really nice. The colour combinations this month are just stunning. Very feminine and, yeah, and I think you'd use them for a lot of occasions. Lots of different types of jewellery and creations. Now, a little bit more um, neutrally looking. And these are some Czech bicones. Six millimetres. And I have not got any this colour, they're completely opaque. Look at them, they've got a beautiful finish on them. Very unusual, I think. Do you not think these are quite unusual? They're beautiful. They're very different, but I think you could create something gorgeous with those. It'd be a really nice sort of bead to complement something that you're making, lovely finish on them, really pretty. I've just seen this in the corner of my eye and I had to pick it next. <gasps> Look at that, so it is a square donut. I'm gonna get it out, look at this. Oh, I've not seen anything like this, I'm really happy. Look, wow, that is gorgeous. Look at the colors in there. It's like petrol on water, isn't it? It is really pretty. 
really beautiful it's just silver on the back plain on the back but look at that how gorgeous so next thing is we have some Ava, Ava beads and these are in crystal labrador so we've had a few of these um, last month in different colours. So I suppose it's actually really good just to get a few more. So I haven't got any of this colour, so I'm nice. it's nice to have them in my collection. Next thing is some rose quartz faceted round beads. These are four millimetres. You can't go wrong with rose quartz. I do have quite a lot of rose quartz already, but it's just such a pretty, pretty sort of gem to have in look. Aren't they lovely? Oh, we've got a bit of, there we go. Look, they're just so delicate. Really pretty, very understated, but so feminine, gorgeous. Now then we have gold plated post earrings. So these might be handy for those I don't know what. Ooh. I'm sure we'll have these in um, one of their patterns somewhere, but I'm not quite sure what I would do with those. They're an unusual shape, aren't they? Hmm. Okay. And these little plastic bags can sometimes get stuck in the back of your ears, so just be careful. Might not be this particular type of backing, but like the little plastic ones really easy just to slip into the back of the ear next thing are oh that's good we've got some wire guardians i do use these i know not everybody does but they're really really handy um at sort of like helping save your thread on the project if it's going round and round so it doesn't end up snapping um and they are just um gold plated wire guards got two pairs and next we've got some ooh, disco balls in smoky topaz again the sparkly so i'm gonna love them and um, these are six millimeters in diameter let's put these out and have a look oh look at those <laughs> oh they're awesome aren't they they are proper disco balls i can see where they get the name so nice Oh, I want to make something with those. <laughs> I love them. They're really good. Right, then we have a floral cabochon, which is 18 millimeters by 25 millimeters. Really pretty floral design. The back's just plain, as you know. And then, um, but that is really pretty. A pewter bird link. Well, that's nice. Turn it the right way. There we go. Like the little birds on first dates. <laughs> oh, that is really nice. You could use a nice, make a nice little like a um, leather bracelet with that, couldn't you? And have that just for, like across your wrist, or like so. It'd be really nice. I like that a lot. It's actually really pretty. So these are a check two hole tile bead. Look at those. Very, very so like candy floss pink. Wow, that colour is incredible. It's like bubblegum almost. Not like bright pink bubblegum, more traditional bubblegum from when I was a little girl. They're beautiful. I think we all had a nail polish that colour once upon a time. Maybe even a lipstick, God forbid. All right, look, I've got some more seed beads here. Um, Mayuki seed beads in 15 O's. Again, they're just handy to have in. I mean, gosh, every pattern I make, every sort of project I make has seed beads in. So it's great just to get a variation of colours and sizes. So, yeah, really happy to have that. Oh, we're nearly at the end, guys. Ooh, what are these? Czech bell flowers. Let's have a look. These look unusual. <gasps> look at these. Aren't they pretty? They're so unusual. We put one down. And look, you could fit a bead in there, couldn't you? Little bead would sit in there. They are great. 
I'll run that next time, next month, I'm going to remember to put some cuticle oil on my nails. My hands always look so dry. Um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. But, you know, it is what it is. But they are gorgeous. Very different. And then the last item in this month's box. And these are some lampwork beads. Four lampwork beads. I have loads of lampwork beads and I just think they're really cool actually and I don't ever use them, I don't really don't think I do so I might need to force myself to make something with them but look at these, so we've got two pairs so I'll pop these down, so these are a bit like a, a flying saucer look at those, aren't they odd? they're really strange Oh, weird and then these ones i really like these actually they're really funky they've got lots of little like black dots stuck on them they're really nice so yeah that's the four of those something a little bit different a bit of fun okay so i'm just going to get everything laid out and then show you all together so there we go this month i'll just take you across everything so you can see it all just laid here it's so pretty everything is just look at it isn't it stunning really beautiful so yes that is my potomac beads best bead box xl for february 2020 i hope you've enjoyed my unboxing and um, this is something still pretty new to me so i will work on making it and um, flow a little bit better in the future but yes i hope you have enjoyed it do give me a thumbs up if you have and um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below um, and let me know what your favorite type of jewelry making is so i'll see you all again very soon thanks so much for watching guys take care and see you later bye